Causes of Diseases Part 1 Dear students, have you noticed so many times when sweeper does not come in our colony, then there is a huge dump of garbage and water is logged, which gives birth to so many bacteria, fungi, flies and mosquitoes which in turn give rise to various dangerous diseases. When we are unhealthy, then we are having one or more disease. Scientifically, disease can be defined as a disordered or incorrectly functioning organ, part, structure or system of the body resulting from the effect of genetic or developmental errors, infection, poisons, nutritional deficiency or imbalance, toxicity or unfavorable environmental factors, illness, sickness, ailment. Causes of Diseases Part 2 Dear Students, on the basis of the duration, human diseases are grouped into four categories acute, chronic, congenital, and acquired. Acute diseases are those diseases whose effects come on suddenly and affect the body quickly. Example influenza. Chronic diseases are those diseases whose symptoms last for months or years. Example, elephantiasis, tuberculosis, etc. Congenital diseases are those which are present since birth. Example, albinism, hemophilia. Acquired diseases occur only after birth and hence they are non-inherited. Heart disease that develops in children after birth is an example of acquired disease. All diseases have two causes. Immediate causes. Contributory causes. Immediate causes. These causes are of two distinct types. Infections or external cause. Non-infectious or internal cause. Infectious cause. They are external or extrinsic factors which reside in our surroundings that cause diseases. The main factor that cause the infectious disease is pathogens, namely virus, bacteria, fungi, protozoan worms, etc. They readily spread from the infected to healthy persons by various means. Some of the infectious diseases like AIDS are fatal. There are some other factors present in the environment which can also cause diseases by being in excess, deficient or absent. These agents are nutrient agents comprises of food components like carbohydrates, protein, etc. which cause deficiency diseases or obesity due to excess intake. Examples of deficiency diseases include scurvy, marasmus, beriberi, anemia, etc. Chemical agents Pollutants, industrial gases, dust, metals and allergens enter the body by inhalation or ingestion. Physical agents. These include heat, cold, humidity, pressure, radiation, electricity and sound. Non-infectious cause. These causes are mostly internal and the diseases remain confined to the person who develop them and do not spread in the community. These internal causes include malfunctioning of an organ. An organ does not function properly or functions abnormally. This affects the metabolism of the body. 
such diseases are called organic or degenerative diseases example heart failure kidney failure and epilepsy hormonal imbalance deficiency or excess production of a hormone results in a disease example diabetes results from insufficient insulin secreted by pancreas hypersensitivity of the body to certain substances causes allergies like asthma uncontrolled growth of cells results in cancer genetic abnormality causes diseases like sickle cell anemia color blindness they are present from birth lack of exercise sedentary lifestyle or personal habits like smoking alcoholism may also develop some specific diseases contributory causes these include social and economic factors that contribute to the development of a disease some examples are lack of nourishment due to poverty lack of public services like availability of clean drinking water sanitary conditions and primary health centers etc lack of awareness poor living conditions etc means of spread of communicable diseases dear students communicable diseases can be transmitted from an infected person to a healthy person they are caused by infective agents pathogens that invade human body or release toxins to cause damages to normal body cells and their functions examples typhoid cholera tuberculosis aids etc there are four crucial factors for the spread of communicable diseases namely the infective agent the source of infection the mode of transmission and the host infective agent an infective agent is a microorganism example bacteria viruses fungi and parasite that will cause an infection source of infection this refers to any environment in which infective agents can live parasites and breed mode of transmission this refers to the method of transfer by which the infective agent moves or is carried from one place to another some communicable diseases have more than one mode of transmission example chickenpox can be transmitted by contact or airborne transmission host host refers to the susceptible population some people are more prone to infection and become hosts for instance young children elders and patients with chronic diseases are more susceptible to infection because of weakened body immunity organic specific and tissue specific manifestations dear students the severity of disease manifestations depend on the number of microbes in the body if the number of microbes is very small the disease manifestations may be minor or unnoticed but if the number of microbes is large the disease can be severe enough to be life threatening generally diseases are of two types organ specific manifestations and tissue specific manifestations when a microbe infects a specific organ of an individual in a particular type of disease it is termed as organ specific manifestation for example 
in tuberculosis the microbe infects the specific organ that is lungs of an individual when a microbe infects the tissues of the body of an individual in a particular type of disease it is termed as tissue specific manifestation for example in hiv the virus infects the tissue and cells of the organism decreasing his her immunity signs and symptoms of disease dear students each infectious disease has its own specific signs and symptoms the signs and symptoms of a disease depend on the tissue or organ which the microbe targets if the lungs are the targets then symptoms will be cough and <coughs> breathlessness if brain is targeted the system includes headaches vomiting fits or unconsciousness most of these common effects of a disease depend on the fact that the immune system of the patient's body becomes activated in response to an infection it involves local effects such as swelling pain redness the immune system recognizes and attracts specific invaders such as bacteria and viruses if an animal has a defective immune system then it can even die from the infection by a harmless bacteria this is the case during hiv infection the virus damages the immune system thus minor infections like cold can become pneumonia and a minor infection can produce major diarrhea with blood loss it is these minor infections that kill people suffering from hiv aids